In this video, I'm going to be showing you three different Converse shoelacing styles that are cool and pretty easy to get done. I'll be covering diamond lacing, star lacing, and bar lacing. Timestamps are in the description, let's get into it. Now diamond lacing converse might look like a tricky technique, but it's actually really easy. If you make sure to follow along with all the steps in this video, you can't go wrong. So my first tip for you is to take a pair of socks and put them down inside your converse. And what this will do is create a nice resistance against your converse sneaker tongue so that the diamond pattern comes out lovely and evenly. Then take your lace and feed it into the bottom two eyelets from underneath, not down over the top like this. Just make sure they're coming nice and underneath and the lace is sitting flat and crisp. Then make sure both the laces are the same length. When your laces are the same length, take this lace and pop it out of the way for the moment. Then take this one and bring it over to the third eyelet up over here on this side. Once you feed it in like that, then you want to take this lace and feed it into the next eyelet up, so the fourth eyelet on this side, underneath like that. And then you want to bring it back over to this side, down into this guy here. And we're starting to create a lined pattern. Then take this lace, feed it into the next eyelet up on this side. Bring it back over here into this eyelet. Then the next eyelet up, just the same. Back over here. Make sure the lace isn't folding over. Then into this eyelet here and over and down into this guy here. Then you just want to tuck that lace out of the way for a minute. Make sure all of the lines are nice and even, like this, at this stage. So there's a little fold in that guy there. That's, you definitely don't want that to happen, so make sure you double check everything before you move on. Now we want to take this guy and bring him underneath this first lace here. And down into the third eyelet up on this side, like so. Then we want to take him underneath and up into the fourth eyelet up on this side. Pull it through. And then you want to bring him over, over this lace, underneath this one, like a weaving pattern, and then over this lace and down into this empty eyelet here. And as you can see, we're starting to get our diamond weave pattern. Then take this lace, open this up, bring him underneath and through the next eyelet up. Pull him all the way through, making sure he looks neat. And then, start to weave him through the other laces. So just the same as before, he's going over this lace, underneath this lace, over this lace, down into here. And then you wanna bring him up and through this eyelet here on this side, and then back over, under, over, down into this guy here. Make sure everything's nice and straight and just go slowly and take your time with this. It's much better to go slowly or repeat a step like I'm doing here if you wanna make sure that lace is nice and crisp. So we're going over, on, sorry, over, under, over, into here. There we go, that's way better. And then up through here. We're really starting to see the diamond pattern forming now. And then we want to take this lace over this lace, under this lace, pulling it through, and into this eyelet at the top here. 
Then you can go ahead and start adjusting your diamond pattern to make sure it's sitting really nice. Then you should be left with two diamond lace converse that look like this. You can take your time adjusting the pattern to make sure they match exactly, but look how cool and fresh they look. First off, stuff a pair of socks down underneath the sneaker tongue. This will make the style pattern come out way more evenly. Then go ahead and grab your lace and place it into the second eyelet down from the top and pull it out about this much to be left at the top. Then bring the lace over into the second eyelet on the other side like this. Pull it all the way through until it creates a nice bar. Now this is going to be the anchor for where your star hangs off of, which you can see here. Then take the same lace, skip an eyelet and go into this one here from underneath. Pull it all the way through. Then bring it back all the way across and into this eyelet here to create another bar-like effect. Straighten it out, make sure it all looks good. Now this can seem a little bit fiddly, but just go slow, follow the steps and pause the video as you need. Then go ahead and bring the lace all the way down and through the very bottom eyelet here, like this. So it'll sit underneath like that. Now we're gonna start to see our star pattern forming. Bring this lace across the sneaker tongue and down into the same eyelet here that this other one is in and pull it all the way through and you'll see one of the arms of the star starting to come to life. Then take it down to the bottom eyelet on this side and pull it all the way through. Now we're gonna take the lace all the way back over and into this eyelet to join this other one here. And as we start pulling it through, you'll see we're getting another part of the star forming, which looks good. Then take it down underneath everything else. A little bit fiddly, but keep going. And then in through the bottom eyelet again here. Now you just might want to stop here and adjust everything and make sure it's all looking nice and straight. I'm going to tuck that little lace away. And it's starting to look really good. Then we're going to take this lace, weave it underneath this one here. So it's just sat under him. Make sure it's all straight. And then we're going to hook it over this bit and this is our little anchor you see and you'll see the top part of the star starting to form then we're going to take it underneath this lace here pull it and you see the star there then down through the bottom eyelet again here pull the lace all the way through and how awesome is that starting to look then what we're going to want to do is take this lace and run it underneath all of the laces comes all the way to the top like that and tuck it down under this bit of the canvas so you can't see it. Then bring it up through the top eyelet here and we're going to create this nice crisp bar that you can see here on this one by doing this. And you might be wondering at this point, how do I tie my laces? I've got two loose lace ends here. What you can do is you can simply loop those into a knot I personally don't mind this, but some might find this a little bit irritating against the side of their foot. And in that case, you can use a little product called lace anchors, which I'll show you now. Now, lace anchors are super easy to use. They eliminate the need for tying and bowing your laces. All you've got to do is feed it into your, feed your lace into your anchor like this. Again, a little bit fiddly, but just take your time. Then loop it down to another hole. It creates like a little anchor and then you can just pull it flush with the eyelet there and do this on each lace and what this will do is really hold your pattern in place in a sturdy way and nothing will come loose i've put a link down below for these lace anchors now they're super cheap if you want to pick up some otherwise just knot your laces no problem and this is your final result super cool star lace shoes So the first tip I have for you, before you start lacing, take a pair of socks and put them down inside your converse. What this will do is push up the sneaker tongue so you can get nice even bar laces all the way up and not small ones at the top and large ones at the bottom. 
Then take your lace and feed it down into the two bottom eyelets. And make sure you're taking the lace and going down into the bottom eyelets and not up from underneath as we want all of our bars to be nice and crisp. Then take the laces and pull them up to make sure they're both the right length. Mine definitely aren't, so I'm just gonna adjust that now. Making sure they're even is super important. And when they're nice and even, put one to the side out of the way and take this one and you wanna feed it underneath and up through this eyelet here like that so it creates a little step. Then you wanna take this lace over, make sure there are no creases in it and it looks nice and crisp. And you wanna bring it over into this eyelet here to create our second bar. Then pop this lace out the way, take this little guy here, feed it underneath the second bar we've created there, open this up and into the next eyelet up on this side. And then you want to take it over and into the eyelet on this side. Make sure there's no creases. So at this point, I like to make sure all of my bars are looking nice and even and evenly spread. And then you're next going to take this lace underneath this guy here and up into the eyelet on this side. Bring it over and into this one. Again, making sure there's no creases and he's looking nice and even with these guys here. Then take this lace underneath him, same as before, up into this eyelet and over. Like that. Then take this guy underneath into the eyelet, bring the lace over, and leave him there for a moment. Then take this lace underneath, up into the top eyelet on this side, and over into the other top eyelet here, making sure we're looking nice and crisp. At this point, I like to pull the converse a little bit to make sure all of my bars are nice and even and good looking. Then you want to take this lace and put him underneath the sneaker collar and this lace, feed it under here and again underneath the sneaker tongue. Then to finish off the look, pull the two laces tight and knot them and bring that knot down underneath the sneaker tongue and tuck the laces in. This makes it so that you can easily just slip on your sneakers when they're bar lace like this and the knot is hidden. Then you just want to adjust all the bar laces to make sure they're looking good. Bring in the one you did earlier, sit them next to each other and make sure they're looking nice and even. And there you have it, you've bar laced your converse.